Just a few more blocks. Careful. Yes! No! No! Welcome to KenCraft. Hello and welcome back to another Kenway amazing episode! Yeah! In this episode, I will be going over my generic mob grinder. Now this build is pistonless and waterless. Therefore, it, 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 it enables... <laughs> no, 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 no. It enables Endermen along with the normal skeletons, creepers, and zombies so that you can get arrows, bones, zombie meat, gunpowder, and ender pearls. Ender pearls are very useful early on in the game, and normally this is one, the first or second thing that I build in any of my worlds. Now, as you can see, in the upper right hand corner of the screen is my map, and as I zoom in, you can see that there are those red dots that indicate monster spawns. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, those monster spawns are inside the trap, and they're derping around. They go to the center and then they drop down to their death. Now if I zoom out, you actually notice that there are many red dots that are actually spawning complete all around me. But they're instantly despawning and the reason for that is because they're too far away from me. And I'll show you, my height is really up here. <laughs> it's way above the clouds. If I use my what shift F3, you'll see that my height is 194. And I also have a video uh, defining the requirements for spawning mobs this high because it is a bit difficult. And I'll show you up here I have a roof that you need to have to cover all of this area. Or else mobs will not spawn. Now you can check out that video to see that in more detail. Let me just take out these endermen and I will get inside this this trap area. Alright, so let me head up here. Oh, first thing, I'm going to show you how high the drop is. Now, you need 23 blocks for a monster to die instantly from a fall due to fall damage. Um, this, of course, uh, does not include Endermen. As you can see, these guys are perfectly fine. They're quite annoying because they have too much health. Anyway, these redstone torches indicate 5 blocks, and you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So that's 23 blocks starting here. The reason why it's not starting on this hatch block is because it's actually lower. The mobs fall off of the hatch block. block. So if I... Boom. There we go. So he, they all fall starting this block right here. Bam. Right there. Oh. I just messed all that up. Anyway, as I am up here, let me create some light for you guys. You probably couldn't see anything at all. Yeah, let me go over that one more time. <clears throat> These hatches, you actually need uh, to count the box, one box starting below the hatch. The hatch does not count as fall damage, or the hatch block, that is. Now, as you see around here, I do have these half stone, uh, half slabs. Uh, blocking spiders from spawning and a spider requires a 3x3 three three area to spawn so you need these uh, slabs to prevent them from, from uh, spawning. The reason why you want them not to spawn here is because they actually clog up this area right here. They don't fall down these hatches they just stick around here and prevent other mobs from falling. So you do want those you need them so that sp uh, spiders cannot spawn so this is not a spider trap. Unfortunately, you have to find your webs somewhere else. Without further ado, I will show you the the height of all of this. As you can see, the roof is three blocks high. You know, one, two, three, so that endermen can spawn. You will need that. Also, these spawning pads are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are eight by eight. So that's 64, 64, 64, 64. These are what, six by two. So there's four six by twos, there's four four by uh, two by twos right here. And how it works is, let's say that I'm a mob, I'm going to dip around here until I fall down. They will not fall this four 
a block drop. They only fall two blocks and three blocks. They will not block uh, fall off the four block drop unless they are pushed, and that doesn't happen very often. So they will, their brown fall down here, and then eventually fall down here. When they are in this area, they will run back and forth until either another mob pushes them in here or be or they actually walk and fall in themselves. Now let me get above this area. I'm going to close off this so that it's dark inside again. And you see I lit up the roof of this and you do need that because with this ceiling and I also lit up the ceiling just in case a further update allows them to spawn up here. The ceiling rec um, is required for the mobs to spawn. Without the ceiling they do not spawn on or inside this trap. Now with these torches allows um, mobs not to be able to spawn on the roof. I just don't want them falling on my head. I recommend the same to you. You want all the spawns in the entire area to be going right into your trap. You don't want them going anywhere else in the entire world. And here's one guy who has proven a point that they can in fact spawn on this redstone. So I think thought that they wouldn't be able to spawn because I had that lit up. Not sure why that guy's there. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, I know. I think he has one health left. Let's check this. Yep. Okay, so basically how that guy got there was at the very beginning, if you remember, I had that one creeper that was standing on the hatch. I opened the hatch and he fell down from the hatch thus having one heart left and since I had this open, he went over here and down there. Problem solved. <laughs> Anyway, back to this, as you can see, everything falls to their death, it falls down and has one, um, has no health left, except for these endermen, so you will have to physically kill the endermen, you can set up a, a suffocation trap with a box pushing in, I didn't feel like doing that, I like killing them, and attacking their kneecap, so... This is used as an item, uh, a mob grinder, but you can also double this as an XP farm. If you just use this uh, lever to push them up one block, these guys will not die, they'll have one heart left. While they have one heart left, you can go ahead and whack away at them. Let me turn my creative mode off for a second so you can see this. Now while I'm down here, I don't have to worry about a thing. I can't... Um, I can I can walk around all I want and they won't attack me. I can even look them right in the eye and nothing will happen. I can walk around the back, nothing will happen, but as soon as I jump, as soon as I increase my elevation using stairs or whatever the case, they will actually start to uh, start to aggro me because they will have line of sight. Now to use this to my advantage, I can actually create this, uh, use this as a CD farm. Let me start off by showing, you can just kill these guys, they have one heart left, they'll die instantly. I don't have to use that diamond sword, I can just poke them and they'll die as well. And I get all that XP. Now to use this as a CD farm, you have to stand back here. The reason why you have to stand back here is because if you stand too close, they'll actually attack you and hit you if you jump up and you'll fly off the platform. Even if you don't fly off the platform, the creepers will blow up and destroy this entire thing. So you don't want to do that. You want to stand back at least two blocks from this cluster of monsters and then jump up. And as you can see, monsters are starting to die. Now they're not falling to their death, they're actually being shot by the skeletons. The skeletons are aggroing me and trying to shoot me. But there's so many monsters in here that they actually shoot other monsters instead. They shoot the zombies, the endermen, other skeletons, and most importantly, the creepers. Now every time a creeper dies from a skeleton, it produces a music CD. And this is a music CD farm, as you see there. It's just starting to spit those out like crazy. And they're all over the place in there. You can't see them too well right now. I saw just one over there. But they're there, trust me. Now as this is happening, I, I'm not doing anything. I don't need to lure any mobs. I don't need to to pull any, any tricks or anything. I just have to AFK in this area while they're killing each other. I can jump up and down and get more of them to attack as they will soon exhaust themselves by hitting an enderman and the enderman will just smack them silly and they'll die. But, as you can see, they do kill the creepers and the creepers will produce the CDs. Now you can make any mob grinder that reduces the mob's health down to one heart into a CD farm using the same method. 
the mob grinder will be required to produce skeletons and creepers alike. However, once they start shooting each other, if they have one heart left, they will instantly die producing a CD. This is very important because if you if a skeleton does shoot a creeper and the creeper does not die immediately, they will instead blow up to try to kill the skeleton that is shooting them and thus destroying your creation. And that is very bad. So let me put these blocks back here like so. I'm going to lower down this platform and just kill off all these guys. I'm just going to use a torch for demonstration purposes. And there you go. You have plenty of CDs in here. You don't have to worry about um, getting killed. You don't not, you don't have to run around. You don't have to get shot. You just stand in one place. It's perfectly safe. And you get tons of CDs and everything that you want. So this is an item farm, a CD farm, an XP farm, all in one. It also is an Enderman farm. You can get the Ender Pearls from it as well. Let me turn on my creative mode and I'll go down to show you this little contraption. Now you don't need this lever. You can instead just place blocks right here, like so, and it will do the exact same thing. The monsters will fall from the top, they'll land on the bottom, and then they will have one health left, and you can just tap them and they'll die. So this is a, a very lazy man um, <laughs> coming up with a contraption that is really not necessary, but I'll show you it anyway. Now I need those blocks to be pushed upwards, so I have these sticky pistons facing upwards. Now I have, I found out a way to, uh, to activate these without making this too aesthetically displeasing. Normally I would have something like these pistons where I have redstone going into the side of them. However, I found that if you have these redstone torches ben uh, beneath them, they do power them as well. However, you do need a block for them to transfer power into and through. Therefore, I have these sticky pistons on the sides. And you see how the redstone is connected and feeds up to the switch. So the switch activates the block below, the, below it and then activates through that block this redstone. The redstone activates these sticky pistons which push the blocks forward which allow the redstone torches to power the box, the cobblestone and through it, which will power these pistons, pushing the box up and allowing these monsters to have one health left. So I can use them for an XP farm or a CD farm, whatever I want. It's very easy, you don't need it. Um, however, I will recommend that you do, if you do end up building that, if you have some uh, spare pist uh, sticky pistons, it does require eight, so that is a bit strenuous. Um, you will need a, a torch right here. The reason why is because monsters will spawn in this little area right here and you don't want them being there because they'll drop on your head or you know they'll just blow up and I don't want them anywhere that I don't want them. Um, I don't intend them to be and I only intend them to be inside this. Uh, with that said I also recommend putting uh, putting a light inside here as well. And you'll see that on this side, right there. Now this light is necessary because when you close this, it's completely dark inside there. There's no light whatsoever other than that torch. If that torch wasn't there, it would be pitch black. Now if I were to zoom off into the distance and then come back, uh, monsters can spawn in here and they will be at full health. And they'll require more than one hit to kill, which is not something that I desire. I want them to be dead in one hit. That's safer for me, it's safer for this contraption. You really want to put just one torch inside there, just to be safe. You don't need the redstone torches on the sides, that's just for demonstration purposes only. But you will, it is recommended to have one on every spot that is able to have a monster spawning next to it. Or on it, I should say. And that basically concludes the video. Thank you for all of your time. I hope you enjoy my future videos as I am. Hope you watch my Let's Plays as I will be demonstrating the effectiveness of every great invention that I have found thus far in Minecraft, including my simple, my easy and simple, simple and easy uh, mob spawner or traps or whatever they are. <laughs> so as always, enjoy Minecraft.